Commissioner Arnold? Here. Commissioner Fisher? Here. Commissioner Pemberton? Here. Commissioner Smith? Here. Commissioner Thomas? Here. Commissioner Witter? Here. Chairman Schwartz? Here. Um, no additions to the minutes. Uh, we have a motion to approve the minutes as received. So, so Chairman motion. Schwartz, yes. motion to approve. Thank you. Second. I'll support. Thank you. Any changes, uh, additions, deletions to the minutes as presented? No, hearing none and seeing none, we'll have them filed by acclamation. Um, I don't think there's, uh, do we have anybody that's interested in any public comment? Uh, if there is anybody, I'm just gonna make this statement. Um, I'll raise the hand that is uh, on the uh, bottom of the uh, webpage um, or press star nine. Currently, uh, we don't have any, any other attendees or uh, public, so okay. I don't anticipate any public comment. Okay. All right, then we'll go ahead and close uh, the public comment section. Um, no communications, no petitions? No. Public hearings, then we'll go to public hearing number one, public hearing number only. Public hearing number one, in order to amend 50, chapter 52 zoning article four general and supplementary regulations to provide the additions and revisions regarding locations of marijuana facilities and marijuana establishments within the city of Port Huron. Is there anyone wishing to speak to the commission on this issue? I see there's two changes to what we had already approved. Yes, uh, Commissioner Alan Francis. Uh, I'll I'll just cover these uh, real briefly. Uh, the first Thank you. the first change, um, which is uh, a change to Section seven hundred four six A one. As as the as Cindy Johnson has been getting in applications, it's and I, thankfully I'm not in her role, but she's assigned the role under the ordinance of scoring and approving and awarding licenses. And uh, there is a situation, and frankly, I don't know if it has occurred or not um, because I haven't been involved with the awarding of the licenses, so to speak. But there is a situation, depending upon how the applications are awarded, where she could have to award um, seven total uh, between re seven total locations for retailers and and or provisioning centers. Uh, and it's, and it's just, again, depending upon how the applications are scored and what applications are submitted. We had provided for uh, six. So we revised, uh, or the proposals to revise, the first revision is revise 6A1 to allow that seventh establishment in the CBD, or pardon me, in the C1 district south of the Black River. So we just wanted our ordinance to jive with the number of establishments that the regulatory ordinance allowed. That's the first revision. The second revision was uh, administration and, and I think Mr. Haynes and I looked at the ordinance and wanted to be clear. We thought there was an opportunity in the M1 and M2 districts to allow um, a co-location of uses. So more than uh, one facility and a facility that might not otherwise be allowed, but as long as it was co-located with the other facilities that were allowed. Um, the, the idea being to have, um, if, if applications fell this way, where we could allow or in the future allow um, more licenses, but less addresses taken up was kind of the idea. And we thought that that would be appropriate in M1 and M2. So that would be an addition, just clarifying that those uses um, are allowed to be within a single building, even if they're not for example, a retailer provisioning center is generally allowed in C1 and CBD, but in this case, if it was co-located with another facility, it would be allowed in M1, M2. So that was the idea behind those. 
Um, and that, that's it. I'd be happy to take any questions if anybody has them, but that was the idea yeah. behind the two changes. Does anybody have any questions for Ellen? No, thank you very much. Thank you. I don't think there's anybody else that wants to speak unless it's you, David. So, okay. Well, okay. Ellen uh, said everything that needs to be said. There you go. There you go. Um, any, then we'll declare public hearing number one closed. Um, could I have a motion for public hearing number one? Moved. Thank you. Moved. Thanks, Bob. Rob. Second. I would support. Thank you. Thanks, Jeff. Um, any discussion? And go ahead, Dave. David, and take the roll, if you would, please. Okay. Um, Mike, if, uh, if you're there, um, unmute your uh, microphone. All right. Uh, Commissioner Rosso. Yeah. Yes. All right. Commissioner yes. Arnold. Commissioner Fisher. Yes. Commissioner Pemberton. Yes. Commissioner Smith. Yes. Commissioner yes. Thomas. Yes. Commissioner Witter. Yes. Chairman Schwartz. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Ellen. Uh, anything else to come? Anything else to come before the commission? No, there's not. So are we going to, uh, just, just just a point of clarification, is this what we're going to do for a while, uh, David? Or are we going to Zoom? Uh, the, as soon as the uh, uh, COVID and the recommendations, both from uh, the County Health Department and the State Health Department, um, allow us, we want to go back to um, our normal operations. Um, and meeting in person. So this is only a temporary uh, okay. process. Okay. Thank you. That, that kind of clarified it for me anyway. Anybody else have anything else? No? Uh, motion for adjourn? So moved. Thank you. We are adjourned. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, David. Thank you. I'm Mike, I'm Mike Rosso. Are you out there? Yes, sir. Can you hear me? I can hear you. I can't see you, but I can hear you. Good deal. Yeah, my video is something wrong with my video for some reason. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Well, thank you, everybody. Uh